I'm here at the city of Vaughan. Actually, I think that over there is the Vaughan administrative uh, offices, their town hall. I just pulled in here because I got to uh, set up my uh, bedtime buddy bear, which is what I use whenever I uh, go into any Ontario municipal uh, building. In this case, uh, so allow me to start. It is Friday, December the 18th, 2009, and I'm here somewhere near uh, town of Bont, city office buildings and stuff. We're going to go that way because I saw a sign that said that the administrative offices are that way. We're going to be filing Freedom of Information. Bedtime Buddy Bear on. I'd love to bring the video camera in, but I don't know what uh, what their policies are. And for fun, oh, I was just going to say for fun, what we would do is um, do a video surveillance uh, survey. And just as I looked up like that, I can I could actually see a Pelco. And 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 take a look here. Now you're seeing exactly what I did. Uh, you don't actually see the whole fixture, just that part. But what we're going to do is just drive over. There's the Pelco. There should be on that door or somewhere some warning that there's a video surveillance being used. Here. What does it say? No entry, emergency exit only. That's fair. And I can't read that quite right now, but I will later on. And that, I believe, over here is the public public building. I think that's uh, Vaughan, yeah, see, City of Vaughan. So, and I'm looking, ooh, look at this. Ooh. Yep, these people use video surveillance. Now the question is, is there a video surveillance sign on the doors? Let's just do this here first. Let's see what they got here. Operating hours. There's a sign there. Don't know what it is. I'll take pictures afterwards. But I certainly don't see any. They got no smoking here. Let's at least do this first, and what we're doing is um, just a drive around of how many video surveillance cameras that they have. So right now we're on video surveillance, and of course so are they. That one is the more conventional fixed camera, aiming at the parking lot. So we go in through here, and let's see, what's the first video surveillance camera that will pick people up? Actually, surprisingly, no one. And you've got the pedestrian sign. Oh, look at this. There it is. I, I need a tripod. Anything through here, parking lot? Oh, look at this. Okay, they pass. Customer, oh, commissioner parking only. Hee <laughs> hee. I wonder what it says that, that uh, there's no commissioners parking anywhere along here. All right, enough fun for today. Let's go in and uh, see what surprises Vaughn has in store for us here. Okay, I finished filing, I think it was six, no, yeah, six Freedom of Informations. They're not going to like them, but boy, uh, we can get a lot of in, in information regarding how City of Vaughan um, is structured, especially in its treatment uh, of, of uh, citizens, and it's the quality of its record keeping. So we're here, had a good look around at the video surveillance. I would say it's, uh, for the most part, minimal. It's not the, the, the whack job kind of... Uh, uh, video surveillance camera here, there, everywhere, three-for-one sale kind that you get at the uh, city of Mississauga where, you know, every corner that you turn in the Civic Center has got a video surveillance camera. Would I give this place a, a pass? I'd give it perhaps a, a D 
uh, you know, it does have the one sign and uh, it's got primary response which is a uh, contract uh, security company so that you at least know that there's a um, complaint system uh, that's provincial so you know I, I'm not about to give it a, a complete thumbs up and we'll see what the uh, what it has in relation to bylaws and and policies and again you know uh, We'll see to the extent to which uh, staff comply to policies and, and the quality of the oversight of the security guards. It's entirely possible, for example, that uh, uh, there might not be much in the way of bans, trespass, and arrests. It's one thing that I've asked for. All records of bans, trespass, and arrests, including tags and everything, since January 2005. But there might not be uh, that many. So uh, we'll see. And then there's uh, in a brochure that I found on graffiti and it mentions what is the city doing about graffiti and it mentions launching a new bylaw in the spring of 2009 so I've asked for all records pertaining to the drafting and implementation of that and also something really cool it says working with police on a database so I, I, I can't tell you how happy I am about that because I also uh, I also requested uh, records pertaining to that database, including an empty shell of that database uh, to be put on DVD. Don't think we're going to get it. Who knows how much money uh, they're going to ask for the records. Uh, right now I put down $30, but uh, that's not all I'm going to pay. Anyway, now that I'm here, I'm also interested in doing a, a little graffiti survey. So we'll do that now.